mission was love. I just believe that with love, the world can change. I'm um, working on the front right now. So this is gonna be gold and the dress is gonna be white. My name is Cassandra and I'm basically designing my superhero costume based on Catwoman. And I changed her up a little bit because I didn't want her to just be all black. Right now I'm creating a pattern for the top piece of the outfit. Before I cut it on the fabric, I'm putting it on paper so I don't make any mistakes later on. I'm working on my bustier for Antarctica. My inspiration was from fire and I wanted to make a villainous character. When I visited the library at the picture collection, that's where I got most of my inspiration when I seen the pictures of the fire and the colors and the different shades of red. I'm so excited to see everything come together, all our hard work play out and we get to see our fruits of our labor. I'm here today with Simon Doonan, the creative ambassador for Barney's New York. He's gonna be wandering around, looking at what you're working on, and offering both constructive criticism and encouragement as you work on your project. Ready, guys? Show me your vision for the prom. Well, basically here I have a leotard with like a cape. It's beautiful. You know what I think is gonna be really important? because you've done something quite simple here. What's on the head and what's on the feet is suddenly going to become very, very important. This will be able to convert over into like a hood. That's During great. So she can pull the hood up, she can put the hood down. So then what you need is some really demented shades, right? Yeah. Something like that. Or, or you could do incredible eye makeup. I think you need to give it a name though. Every superhero has a name. Because to me it looked sort of watery, so you know, you could go with Atlantis or something like that that's about water, but you need to think of it. Okay. Don't let mummy stick her ideas in. <laughs> My design is inspired by Catwoman, and I want to wow. change her up. Wow, when it hits her back. It's going to be another strap going down. It has a sort of 70s feel to it, like fire faucet. Maybe it's just the hair. <laughs> it's the way it flows together. It's just all tight-fitted and whatnot. Here's your drawing, which I love. It's a beautiful drawing. Now, talk me through it. Um, well, I'm, the belt is optional. I'm not mm, gonna do that. And I'm gonna have shoulder pads up here. It's gonna stick out a bit, so it's gonna like exaggerate the whole thing. And I'm gonna have a cape, the Batman sign, pretty much, and two cutouts right here in yellow. I love it. But, um, I'm wondering why you're not going to do the belt, because I think the belt's kind of great. Yeah. And it stops it from just being like a, a swimsuit, you know? Yeah. So I want to first finish off everything and add the belt in later, like extra if it time. Needs yeah. It. Yeah. If it needs it. So. That's smart. You guys are so creative. Next. Well, it's very ambitious and, and very um, complex. So walk me through it from a structural point of view. The, Heart will be based on swim tubes, like the little kids use. Oh, um, yeah, those swim. noodles. Yeah. Yeah, the long noodles. So you, you can get two of them and just do that, right? That's a great idea because it'll be light. But then there's this sort of lady like skirt, which is great because that sort of says prom as well, you know, that, that'll make you different from all these other girls who are going very cat suit. You know, you've got like a more traditional prom shape, but. It's very um, creative and wacky with the heart and everything. If you wanted to make it look very fashion and very groovy and very very sort of like Lanvin or something, you know, very now, you could like reverse the seams or something like that or have raw seams on it, you know, so it doesn't feel too prissy prom dress. It's fabulous. If you could put any celebrity in your outfit, who would it be? Maybe like Beyonce, because she's really curvy. That was sort of who was, I was seeing when I looked at your drawing. Because she's curvy, but she's also very theatrical. Burning Beyonce. <laughs> so it's good to have a name, it gets you thinking. Anyway, I think it's incredible. Tell me about your ensemble. Um, is that those two 
It's for a male. All right. And this has the same little motifs on it, right? Well, I'm gonna X that out, like the spikes. I'm only gonna put the spikes on here, and I'm gonna X it out on there. I love this sort of pointy theme. Maybe there's a way to get him some specs or something that brings that up into his head so he's not just like a dude wearing this costume, you know what I mean? Or do his eyebrows, something that takes your theme onto his head. Because it's so theatrical and so insane that it would be, you don't want to then just have Mr. Normal's head on the top, you know? You gotta make him freaky too. He kind of screams Katy Perry. Yeah. <laughs> Was that your inspiration? I chose a superhero for inspiration. My superhero is Kim from Frost and the Elizabethan era with the huge collars. Is this more fun than the regular stuff you get to make? Yeah. Like everything that we usually make is really traditional, so it's like we're stepping out of the box finally. Yeah, you get to be um, crazy. I think you girls are going to wipe the floor with the competition. Um, these outfits are great. Really, really great. And I love how diverse they are. Let's give a round of applause to our final team. So keep up the hard work, and I will see you at Anti-Prom. Yeah. Yeah.